throughout history. Mankind has reported on all sorts of strange occurrences, witches, werewolves, vampires, UFOs, ghosts, angels, and demons. Are these all just urban legends, stories, or myths? Or is there some form of truth that lurks in the shadows? Together, we endeavour to explore and investigate these strange occurrences which have taken place throughout mankind's history. Together, we are ETFW. Welcome to the library. East of Philadelphia City, there is a beautiful forest of green where one could easily imagine stumbling across a magical forest, and if you're not careful, could find yourself lost. With a scent of pine in the air and the sounds of animals around, this magical forest holds a deeper, darker story. This place is known as the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Roughly 10,000 years ago, the ancestors of the Lenape people first inherited the Pine Barrens, showing evidence of early backburning to promote the growth of the barrens while also mitigating fires. During the 17th century, the area was explored and settled by Swedish and Dutch who would develop whaling and fishing settlements. The English would go on to claim the area, resulting in the Dutch abandoning the area in 1664. Today, the Pine Barrens is the largest remaining example of the Atlantic coastal Pine Barrens ecosystem, stretching across more than seven counties of New Jersey. The Pine Barrens support a diverse spectrum of plant life, including orchids and carnivorous plants. You can also find the remnants of old and abandoned buildings ranging from colonial era up to more recent times. Throughout the years, there have been a series of unfortunate accidents as well as a number of strange and possible paranormal occurrences. The most disturbing and possibly well-known story is that of the Jersey Devil. Legend tells of a creature said to inhabit the Pine Barrens. It is said to be a flying bipedal creature with hooves, a goat-like head, leathery bat-like wings, large horns, small arms with clawed hands, and a forked tail. It has been reported to move quickly and is often described as emitting a high-pitched, blood-curling scream. As the story goes, the Jersey Devil originated with a Pine Barrens resident named Jane Leeds, however known as Mother Leeds. The legend stated that Mother Leeds had 12 children. However, after finding out she was pregnant with a 13 child, she cursed it in frustration, crying out that the child would be the devil. During 1735, Mother Leeds was in labor during an unnatural stormy night. With her friends gathered round her, she pushed the 13th child into the world and all seemed normal. However, the child began to change and to grow into the creature it is known as today. Growling and screaming, it beat everyone away with its tail before flying up the chimney and heading into the pines. Supposedly, there is a story that there was an attempt by local clergymen to exorcise the creature from the Pine Barrens. Although there is no further documented information on this event, it is safe to assume the exorcism was a failure. There has also been several reported encounters. One such encounter was from none other than Joseph Bonaparte, the elder brother of Napoleon Bonaparte. He reportedly saw the creature during a hunting expedition in the Pine Barrens. In 1840, the Jersey Devil was blamed for several livestock killings as well. Similar attacks were also reported in 1841, accompanied by tracks and screams. During the week of January 16 through 23, 1909, the newspapers of the time published hundreds of claimed encounters with the Jersey Devil. One witness claimed they saw it attacking a trolley car and even police claim to have encountered it and fired at it with no effect. It became so severe that the local area shut down schools and made workers stay home. A number of groups of hunters roamed the Pine Barrens in search of the Jersey Devil. However, they never found it. There has been various explanations as to what the Jersey Devil could be, or even what people have reported on seeing. However, there is no solid proof that the Jersey Devil does or does not exist. What do you believe of the Pine Barrens? Would you be brave enough to visit? If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new here, and comment down below your thoughts. Until next time, we are ETFW.